Hey, my name is Scott, and I really enjoy upgrading and modding stuff. My name is Scott. I need to buy a 3D printer. Of all the makers and artists that inspired me to get into trying to make stuff for myself, this guy Scott Yujan. Scott Yujan. Scott Yujan. Scott Yujan. I hope I'm not butchering that last name. Is probably the tipping point. His videos were not only the first I saw that made 3D printing look like something I could actually do, but they also made it look sexy. I mean, look at these finished products. These beautiful time lapses. That ASMR and that beautiful epic drawer organizer. So clean, so custom. Meanwhile, this is my organization system. And this was perfectly organized like a week ago. But as soon as I start using things, it just magically gets like this. I can only assume it's some sort of fairy tale witch's curse. But I figure if everything has its perfect spot, then it can't just move around while I'm not watching. If I'm being honest though, my cupboard is probably a bit much for me to try and tackle on my first go. And with any luck, hopefully I'm gonna be moving soon anyway, so I need to try something a bit smaller that can move with me. Perfect. Thanks to PCBWay for sponsoring my silly little videos. They've got you covered for 3D printing, injection molding, CNC machining, and custom PCB assembly from just $29. I personally have used them for printing different materials, and my favorite thing is getting stuff printed in metals like aluminum and titanium. Thanks, PCBWay. <laughs> to get my initial layout, I cut a bit of paper the size of the inside of my drawer and then just laid everything out in a way that made sense to me. Then imported it into Onshape where I traced out my first design. As my design is way smaller than Scott's, I want to design this all to print out in a single piece. I added a space for some post-it notes and then I printed it out and it didn't fit. And looks terrible, I think. And also maybe there is too much stuff jammed in here. But that's okay because I can iterate. And iterating might just be that secret key that makes 3D printing so accessible for a beginner like me. Because it means I don't have to design it perfectly and print it right on the first go. I can print out a rough version and some old filament and see what I like, don't like, make some changes and print out another iteration. Learning that iterating is a perfectly acceptable way to design has been a game changer for me. Because now failure is just part of the process and not like an end result, which is great for me because I'm really good at failing. So after a lot of failures, a lot of iterations, and a lot of time, this is what I ended up with, based on what I think works best in the drawer now. But there's one thing that I just can't figure out how to get in there, no matter how hard I try. These, Jupiter little scissors. What's so special about these scissors? Nothing. They're just the scissors that I have. Why do they have this thing? I don't know. But these are my scissors. And I just can't seem to fit them in there. Of course, I thought about cutting this part off. I tried to design it so that I could fit them on a separate layer. At one point, I was even gonna design a whole separate little piece that would go next to the drawer and kind of fit them in there magnetically somehow. But then it clicked. Ah, f I'm gonna have to do the big draw. Yeah, okay, yeah. Okay, we do the big draw. It'll make a better video anyway. I mean, if I'm being honest, I haven't actually made many videos about making stuff and I really want this one to be good. But we don't have a lot of time and I don't exactly wanna spend a whole nother month without a video, so we're gonna have to do this the easiest way possible. It already has a Grafinity base plate stuck in here, so maybe I can leave them in and make sections to fit into that. Actually, no, that'll just take up space and print time. We don't have time for this. Okay, we're not doing anything fancy here. Just outline the stuff and make the sections small enough to print. All right, now let's just do a test piece to make sure things are about the right size. 
All right, team, we left this printing overnight and it only got this far. We're gonna need to investigate. All right, looks like my extruder's broken. I'm not kidding. After all the drama that I had in my previous video, my extruder failed as soon as I started making this one. And I'm not making a whole nother video about fixing my printer. So I did the quickest solution I could think of and just bought another Sprite SE extruder and dropped it in as a replacement. And it still had the same issue. So I swapped out the like extension cable that comes with the extruder and that fixed it. So I guess I have a spare extruder now. Anyway, let's get back to printing these parts. Come on. Okay, finally. Finally finished the original drawer. But if I'm gonna do this right, I'm gonna need some sort of cool time lapse. That'll do, I guess. Wait, hold on. Something's missing. Oh, I know. Perfect. 